people making money stuff. We opened the show many hours ago with some sound about <gasps> Truth Social and oh. Barry Diller weighing in on its whether or not it was a real thing or not. In fact, he deemed it a scam and the people buying the stock are dopes. We've been talking about this a lot last couple of days. What are your latest thoughts? I, it breaks my heart that you're not going to play it again because when we're talking about the truth, nobody likes to go on TV and drop a truth bomb like Barry Diller does. Um, here's the thing with Truth Social. We talked about it here just a few days ago. This is, you know, we call, I called it a fakakta company, cockamamie, pick, you know, take, pick your, cho you know, whatever word you want. This company is absolutely not worth what it's currently valued at, what it's, where it's at on paper. What's happened that's interesting in the last 24 hours is Donald Trump is now pumping it up on his platform. Now, before earlier this week, it was funny because he wasn't talking his book, which is totally, to Donnie's word, off-brand. Donald Trump's entire universe is talking up his game. But now that he has got a public company, he could get himself entangled in huge problems with the SEC. So if he's out there talking up this company, how great it is, how awesome it is, and that is materially different from the actual underlying fundamentals of this company, he could be he could sit with shareholder lawsuits. The SEC could come after him. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he plays this. But I would make one other point. It shows kind of how maniacally clever this operation is. He's not actually on the board of the company. Of course. So a CEO of a company, right? Jamie Dimon cannot come out and pump up J.P. Morgan and say anything that's not 100 percent true because they'll come for him. But Donald Trump, who owns 60 percent of the company and who's suing his co-founders because he thinks he should own more, is not an officer of the company. So he may have actually found a loophole for himself where he gets all the upside and none of the downside. A true Trump special. Two, two thoughts. Number one, if you're thinking about investing in Truth Social, let me just give you one simple reality. Advertisers will never advertise on there. You know, there's a reason that Fox let Tucker Carlson go or Glenn Beck go, because he, no matter how big their numbers are, they can't get advertisers. And you will not have advertisers on True Social. Maybe you'll have, you know, the, the gold bullion or, you know, <laughs> eagle statues and pillows and whatnot. Uh, so be clear, if you're investing in this company, there's no chance this will ever be successful from a revenue point of view. So and it has no technology. No, I just, but here's the other weird twisted thing. The more he scams, a lot of Trump's followers kind of love it. Yeah, he's beating this. Look how, look how clever this guy is. Forget all the people he's screwing over. There's this weird psychological thing that happens that every time he does a scam, we go, look at the scam. People go, ha, ha, that's our guy. That's yeah, our guy. of course I don't pay taxes because yeah. I'm smart. The guy who just gave him the money for the bond, the guy in California, actually said when it got lowered to 175 million bucks, I thought Trump had that money. Maybe he does. But again, Trump's signature. OPM, spending yeah. other people's money, and people are letting it happen. And the New York Attorney General wants to look into that bond and why it's being provided. So let's talk about one more Trump business venture. Um, Live Golf, the Saudi Arabia-backed uh, league, has a tournament starting today at Doral, Trump's course just outside Miami. Um, this strikes uh, to many to be problematic for Trump's uh, ability to you know, have classified information and not handle it carefully, but also he's in desperate need of money. And if there's one thing the Saudi Arabian crown prince has and his uh, sovereign wealth fund is lots of money. He sure does. Just ask Jared Kushner, who's managing $2 billion of his money. And Jared has he's zero. He's got a lot of experience. Though. And has zero experience. But here's the thing. Why haven't we changed the rules and regulations to stop this, right? When Trump was president, we all sat here clutching our pearls, saying this is so unethical. The conflicts of interest are, are, are enormous. We will never allow a president to do these kind of things again. And so now here we are right in our face. We can say this stinks to the high heavens. The conflicts of interest are enormous. But he's going to look right in the look right in the camera and laugh his way all the way to the bank, saying, "Guess what? You make the rules, and I found my way around them." And that's what's so twisted because this is a national security issue. You know, partnering with the Saudis on Live Golf, the fact that we don't know who's buying huge sums of Trump stock could be a giant wealth transfer from someone about to get hooked up by somebody who has a 50 percent chance of being the next president. Huge problem. We're going to change the rules. Mm. Stephanie Rule, henceforth known as 
Mother of the Hoagie King. Thank you. <laughs> you know, they might be great. Who knows? He hasn't they, even started they, yet. They, hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.